And we're back with Felt Parachutes Let's Play of Mass Effect 3. Just about to wrap up the uh, mission down here on uh, Sakash with the uh, Krogan females. And let's get them. Let's get Cerberus. Yeah, uh, oh, yoink. I said yoink. I said, ah, oh, fuck. Where'd you Damn it, missed. Where'd you go? Got him. Wait, what? Oh, this Garrus was doing a finishing move. Um, which is cool. Alright. Clear up, clear up, not clear up. Clear up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. that's right, I gotta go around the corner. But first, also I was a bit disappointed in the demo. There was a scene with Captain Kurahi, or Kurahi. Look around. There must be a power conduit um, nearby. I was a bit disappointed we didn't see it. I don't know why it didn't trigger. Uh, it should have happened in the last video, by the way. Um, and I think he might have been the Solarian that died. Uh, I don't actually know that. Um, Either way, if he's dead, I'm sad, because I like to carry you. Um, now and now we're online. Got to get to the, get back to the checkpoint. There's a thing right there. Ooh, continue. Um, and Cerberus. Holy! Oh, keep up the pressure. I'm Move it up. up top. Garrus flank weapons. You know, I keep... One thing I like that uh, Mass Effect 2 did that this hasn't been doing is that uh, it kept the whatever ammo uh, power you used on your gun on your gun until you change the power. Um, I've been playing most of this without the uh, ammo power. Um, at least this I mission really anyway. Uh, just because I can forgot about it. Weakening. We can't sustain much more. I'm not your problem, Commander. <laughs> you don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. Wow, she sounds... How many more checkpoints? Next one is the landing area. Will Erdnot Reed be there? <sighs> he has to. I'll see you up top. She sounds a lot worse than she did in the demo and in the, uh, end at E3. We found the Definitely sounds like she's been through some shit. <laughs> Move it up, Garrus. I said, move it up, Garrus. Acknowledge. Last one. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, get moving. I can't fly this thing around forever. The female's on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I might actually start. Might actually what? We're almost back up top. That got kinda kinda cut off there. Commander server has found us taking heavy fire. And I wanted to hit the centurion there, but it's okay. Superus is hitting the pod. We need assistance now. In before Atlas. You need to authorize her release, Commander. The pod then transfers to the loading area. Let's get you out. Oh, yep, here it comes. Shepard, watch it. You got incoming. Problem officer. Um. Oh. 
big freaking mech draws pistol. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan commander. She's vulnerable up there. Don't worry. I have serious firepower. Maybe we can crack it open. Cerberus never did play fair. It's okay. It'll only take. I'm gonna say four shots. No, no, maybe six. I don't care for him. Makes me miss Red. Okay, I'm just gonna blow to hell. I was gonna try and steal it, but yeah, nah. watch out. Still got troopers, troopers left. Not a lot of them, thankfully. And the Ars got that one. Actually, they both. Like the last one, I'm Party time. Well, that was easy. Maybe I should be playing on a harder difficulty. It might be more amusing for you guys, especially if I was dying more. Um, but I, I can do a, a later one at like insane difficulty and be like, "Why am I dying? Uh, dying everywhere." I wasn't sure you could pull this off, Shepard. Let's make this quick. I'll take it from here. So much for being a princess, I guess. Or, kind of. I'm not your property, Reeve. <laughs> mm. That guy has a lot of blood on the outside of him from that shotgun blast. I think it shoots blood pellets. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Well, that was strange. World Shaker. Okay, I'm curious. What, what was that for? Destroy an Alice drop from orbit. Oh, so it's just right there. Uh. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. I wonder how the battle's going on Earth. that much so well actually I don't know how fast how long how much time has passed it is a game I'm assuming kind of short duration but then again it probably does take some 
days to travel between systems. Um, or hours at least, so probably a few days have passed. Um, but hey, it's coming along, yay! Oh, doomsday device. Leave the female safe. We can worry about curing the rest of your people later. You're not backing out, Turian. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. It's non-negotiable. Every Krogan gets the cure or Palavin burns. Wix, how long will it take to finish a cure? There's more work to be done. I need time to synthesize a base antigen from the female's tissue. I'll also require a sample of healthy male Krogan tissue. I'll give you one. <laughs> the cure starts with me. Very well. You'll need to remain confined to the Normandy for the procedure. I would anyway. Nobody's touching my female. A cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order. Can you do it? Reverse a 2,000-year-old sterility plague? I've tackled worse. <laughs> How will it work? Those Understatement. I need time to discover. But we won't solve anything standing here arguing politics. Then get started, Wix. And make it fast. Certainly. If you need me, I'll be in your med bay running tests on Eve. Eve? A name from your own mythology. It has the appropriate connotations. And seemed more respectful than female Krogan. She never told us her real name. You should come speak with her, though. Very insightful. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. When you're finished with Turian problems, Shepard, we need to talk. Oh, boy. About what? A squad of mine went missing. I can give you the details... in private. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Uh, hey, do this for this guy. Do this for that guy. Uh, <laughs> priority to Chunka. Hey, now I can get to the Krogan DMZ and rescue the group for the Shadow Worker, or for Barlavon, who is working for Liara, who's the new Shadow Worker. Anyway, uh, War Terminal. Let's see what we got. Alien 208 Alliance. We are at. Eden Prime support. Cool. Fuck yeah. Crucible. Prothean data files. Oh, that's what those used. We're used for cool. Well, my military strength is growing up. X Cerberus. And okay, well, let's talk to Primark. What, Commander, what's going on? You said on? one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. I didn't even get a Very choice there. Understanding. What the hell? That was... Your men that crashed onto Chunka. That was really How many weird. are there? A platoon. I feel like, I feel like this is kind of glitched of somehow. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. Damn. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Alright. 
The Solarian Dalatras was worried about what the Kroken will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right, well, Turian platoon, okay. Where is freaking, what's his name? There is, what the, ah, what the balls. Oh, no, no, not where I want to be. I want to go the other way. That's, there you are. Shepard, you proved yourself a capable warrior on Sirkesh. Our property has been returned to its rightful owner. You're halfway there. You said one of your squads is missing? We've uh, heard some troubling rumors about the Rachni Relay. Rachni? A few scouts went to check it out, but we lost contact. So I sent Arlac Company, my best squad, to investigate. They can meet you there. Given your history with the Rachni, I figured you'd want in on this. I'll do what I can. Well, let's hope it's enough. What do you think the Krogan will do after the Genophage is cured? As the one who cured it, my word will be law over all the other clans. Then your council will remember why they feared the Krogan. Sounds like you're looking for some payback. My people have suffered a great injustice. To let the Genophage go unpunished would show weakness. At the very least, the threat of revenge will ensure an accommodation is reached. Violence can be a useful tool, Commander. What's the situation back at Tachunka? I got word that more Reaper forces arrived. They're planning something. You almost sound excited. Oh, I am. We're at our best against enemies everyone else fears. The Solarians are hiding. The Turians are begging for help. But Krogan, we're happy to let the Reapers in, so we can measure their heads for trophies before we kill them. <laughs> Back on Sir Kesh, the female Krogan didn't seem to like oh, it much. Oh, God. It doesn't matter. I'm her clan leader, and she'll obey my word. Her immunity is an unexpected gift. It will force the other clans to accept Erdnot rule as supreme. Our offspring will outnumber theirs in no time. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. Maybe a race that started a galactic war can't be trusted to keep their word. She wouldn't risk one while trying to rebuild her species. Well, the scouts found something. Could be nothing, or it might be another invasion. If it is the Rachni, they need to be stopped. And make sure you finish the job this time, Shepard. Let's get back to work. Yes, there's a lot to be done. Well, that's cool. I can go find the uh, Rachni Queen, see what's up. She's clearly building up for the Reapers. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on... Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. 
Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Well, there you have it. New article on indoctrination. Da, 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 da. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I probably should check in on Caden on the planet on freaking yeah. Anyway, gonna do some talking, some socializing, and call it a video. Um, I've got some editing I can be doing, and I have to get ready for work soon, which sucks balls. Cause I'd rather be playing this forever. I mean, until I beat it. Uh, yep. That's not where I want to go. Uh, I should also pop in on Dr. Chocolates because she's chillaxing over there. And I haven't done that yet. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Thank you. Is that not this one? Nope, it's not this one. Broker terminal. Email. Oh, Kelly Sanders to Jack. Let's see. <laughs> Prothean notes. <laughs> a Prothean, a living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard? There's so much he could tell us. Good timing, Shepard. I had Glyph do a little digging on Reeve. Anything useful? Yes. Erdnot Reeve has commissioned more weapons of mass destruction than any other Krogan leader in known history. Well, apparently he's well armed. The majority of these arms have already been used in conflicts with other clans. Or not. Happily, Clan Erdnot retain stockpiles of conventional weapons and still present a formidable military force. Hmm. Hello Tr again. Guess he's trigger happy. Alright. Let's see. Let's go say what's up to Garrus and then Dr. Chalk was and call it a video. Wee. Ah, oh, these sleeping pods. Someone needs to calibrate these doors to open faster.
Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. <laughs> I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? Yeah, we kind of are. Uh, yep. And over to Dr. Chagwas. I admire your bravery. You're now the savior of your entire race. The transmutative agent that propels a species to a new stage of evolution. Many will fear that. Ah, Commander, we were just... Uh -oh. Step away from her. She doesn't belong to you. Re, it's okay. Nothing's okay when Solarians are involved. This one is different. What are you doing? A blood test. Commander, please explain to him my only goal is to ensure her health is stable. He was your inside source, Reeve. You can trust him. I never even trusted my own mother. And now an arch enemy is suddenly my people's best friend. By helping you, my career in STG is almost certainly over. Why do it? Every species has their role to play. Centuries from now, the Krogan could be the pinnacle of galactic evolution. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd hear a Solarian say. Then let him work, Reeve. Just make sure you keep her alive. Your concern is noted. And remember, I still need your tissue sample. Better not hurt. I need to speak with you when you have a moment, Commander. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. <coughs> I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it. The day I became a shaman of the female clan, <coughs> I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, 
and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. How has Paddock Wicks been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. How so? Most are arrogant. I was reminding us they uplifted our race. He's a deep thinker. We've had talks about philosophy, religion, evolution. His hopes for a Krogan future have given me hope. Do you trust him? The other Solarians would rather have let me die. Wick stood up to them. He demanded medical treatment for my sisters and me. I doubt he has any friends left on Sir Cash. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. <coughs> I'm glad for the opportunity. Wait, wait where's Chakwas? She was in here. God di Oh, whatever. I guess she's chilling somewhere else. Commander, I'm troubled by Eve's blood test. The stress placed on her system by Malin's experiments was severe. I can stabilize her for now, but without Malin's research to guide me, her health will deteriorate. I hate to ask, but will this affect the cure? I don't believe so, though I'm afraid her long-term prognosis isn't good. Do what you can for her. Certainly. I knew an STG scientist named Morden Solis. Have you heard of him? Indeed. I once punched him in the face. You what? He was still an STG at the time. I postulated there was more to evolution than just random mutation. Morden disagreed. We argued, we drank, then argued some more. Soon enough, a good fracas seemed the best way to settle things. Who won? He got a black eye. I broke a few fingers. We called it even and went back to drinking. <laughs> so the two of you were friends? Some weeks, yes. Some weeks we didn't speak to each other. There were tremendous stresses for those involved in genophage research. My side of it was all theoretical. His side... Well, he went to Tachanka. He saw its effects up close. He was never the same after that. I now understand. I'm sorry to say Morden died. I know. STG is aware of your mission through the Omega-4 relay. For Morden's sake, I hope he finally found the grace he deserved. I'm curious. Why do this for a problem that doesn't even affect you? But it does. The willful extinction of another species benefits no one. We all lose eventually. The Krogan may lack beauty, perhaps even brains. But so did your ancestors. And mine. Every species has a fatal flaw. A flaw that is theirs alone to overcome. We cannot deny them the opportunity to evolve. So you'll put your own life on the line for the Krogan? For the larger principle, yes. I've spent my career planning which species deserve uplift and which do not. But no one ever asked if we had earned the right to make those plans. We are not the originator. Who do you think decides what the plan is? The question of the hour. The very reason religions are invented. Unfortunately, at this hour, the answer seems to be the Reapers. But even they evolved for some purpose, and by some design. Have you had any luck finding answers? There have been hints, like finding an artist's signature in a painting. The way the pattern in a Tanvorian Mulwich's feathers resemble the galactic spire. That's almost showing off. But none of it constitutes proof. Just intuition. Most scientists I meet don't feel that way. Then they're blind. So much grandeur in creation. It can't be an accident. Hmm. You're an Thanks. interesting Solarian. I appreciate your help in this. And I appreciate the chance to witness this moment in history, Commander. We're charting a new course in evolution. All right, well... Okay, then. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh, wait, I passed the elevator. That's where I wanted to go. Um, yeah, we're well into the 30-minute mark at this point um so i'm gonna call that call that a day uh you've been watching failed parachute chatting up aliens
Okay, also known as uh, Mass Effect 3. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, stream. Uh, yeah, YouTube videos. Let's play that. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time where we go on some missions, possibly wreck some Cerberus shit. Um, I don't know. It really depends. Either wreck some Cerberus shit, rescue some people, that sort of thing. Because we're the hero. Anyway, take care, everybody.